Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of work on the launcher here on our so-called bowling game, and I haven't had the best of luck. And the reason what's going on is uh, something with these these sloped blocks here. They don't have proper have a fully flat hitbox, and the same goes with the arc blocks. And I'll show you here in a in a moment I'll place one down and you can actually see the frame now back in I can't remember what episode it was it was like early season one when they just before the terrain chain uh, terrain generation update which was version point seven they had to save all their wipes that was a little box of wonders that had 50,000 parts in one stack and Anyway, uh, I was trying to build a bit of a city at the end, just something to do, one big build before the wipe, and I was driving around the rover, and I noticed that you could, even though I was driving on flat surfaces like this, and the base foundations, I was feeling something, I was almost feeling like the, the single block grid, and as you can see by the frames, I think this is what's causing issues, is the fact that this fr outline you see of the frame is actually the hitbox. It might be a little bit here, covering it in, but it's not fully around. And I think that goes the same with, uh, with like the short and the long slopes at the same time too with the the corner blocks. Like uh, number three here, even though it looks like it's flat, it's not. And when it interacts with this, even though that's what you see, you're seeing a mesh over top of a collider basically and I think that's what's causing the problem even with it being flat like this it still doesn't work as well as I'd hoped uh, I do the reason why I have to have the hover pads on an angle like this is so that I don't have to actually be in the cockpit to control it and that's what the whole thing about this game was it's supposed to be so we could be in first person view here outside the cockpit be able to walk around just go and hit the buttons and do the things that's actually what we're going to be doing with today's project but anyways uh, let's see, see how it does I try to get, do something about the stop at the back here and you can actually see what I'm talking about you can see that the corner of this block is actually going into the sphere and that's what happens yeah you'll be rolling downhill and it'll just stop for, for no reason at all and that's that's the problem but so far it does sort of fire. I actually lowered it down a little bit more. So let's just see what's going to happen here. I'm going to just nudge it over a little bit. I don't think we're actually going to hit the pins, but may as well. Actually, what we can do, I might as well just go ahead and wire this right up to the main button here. Because this was hooked up to a different switchboard, I completely rebuilt this entire thing just to get this to work. And I stripped it right down almost to the rotor. I left the wheels and the hover pads on. Um, if you're wondering why the wheels are sideways, uh, someone that was asking about that in a previous episode, and that's just to create the drag, just so that we don't get the the free movement of the. Uh, we'll call it planetary because technically that's what it is but anyways let's move it over oh that's right that's why I wasn't being able to move it I was working on it so I had to lock it there we go I do have these locked uh, they haven't changed on me I do have two rotating plates there which is kind of scary does this not have power now or is it just stuck let's find out why it looks a little funny down there too. It does have power, it's just stuck. There we go. Get up there before it stops. Alright. Now can we go back the other way? Apparently not. Oh, it came off. No big deal. I'm He-Man. I'm moving to ten and a half. Ah, we'll quit messing around with it. We'll fire it. Now it doesn't fire right away every time. Sometimes I have to fire it twice. Uh, it was only going about this distance here at a bit of a steeper angle. I did drop it down about two thirds of a block, 
to a block and we'll see what happens here. So it doesn't go and it, what happens is it hits a dead zone. There we go. And that's about as good as it's going to get. Uh, if I were to make find a way to get four of them around there, it might move a little bit better. But sadly, that's, that's what we're stuck with. Other than that, though, uh, the whole ball return mechanic does work pretty good. I realize I probably could have made this a little less steep by having the hover pad spaced eight blocks apart instead of the four, or technically seven in between instead of three. And that would have just made this a little less steeper of an angle, but it doesn't matter because that wasn't launching as far as it should have. This was the tank, that would be a different story. Let's actually stand here for seconds. Watch it go back in and see if it'll launch right away. That was fast. Oh, that's a little better. But then it gets stuck. It gets wedged in there. And that's just all about the whole collider issue. Anyway, I'm going to go turn this off before this causes any problems. Before I lose another ball. Okay. And go turn that off. So today, I want to work on another game. I've been trying to figure out a proper loading me mechanic for it. And I think we're going to try to go with another tethered setup. Uh, it's going to be... We'll call it Plinko, but it's not Plinko. It's going to be Splinko because I'm going to be having spinners in there instead of pegs because uh, those balls, they don't bounce. As you see, you hit a wall with them and they just drop like a rock and that's it. So it's going to be sort of like a little turnstile. It's going to come down and hopefully we're going to get a random pattern. I'll have our pockets set up and we'll even have a return mechanism set up. I'm going to try to rework that elevator to see if I can get it more straight up, sort of like zigzagging up instead of staircasing. Uh, I think I can get it to work. Uh, we'll see how it turns out and maybe even set up some sort of scoring mechanism. But anyways, uh, this is going to be our little spot for it. This is going to be our arcade alley and we'll have to move the big base bus out of here sooner or later and we might even have to go on a road trip with this thing and see how far we can get before we get it stuck or maybe before it falls into the ocean and we can't get it out. Mind you, this thing's so tall, we could probably drive to the deepest ocean and still be able to see off the second floor. Anyway, let's go ahead and start building.
Okay, I am done. And I have to admit, this was quite the project. Uh, I had to make a few changes along the way because things weren't working out the way they, I expected them to. I had to make a few adjustments along the way, but there it is. There is Splinko. And I'll give you a little bit of a tour here. I got. I haven't hooked any, hooked up any power yet. These are the controls. So you got uh, the green one would move the carriage over to the right or left. The red one would bring it to the right. Uh, this would be our. Uh, that's a master reset. So any balls that are in there will get pushed out back into the system. This is for the launcher up there, and I'll show you what I have. You probably saw me building it. That was something I was sort of hesitating on trying to build because I knew it wasn't going to be easy and it was actually easier than I thought it would, would be. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using the hover pads on an angle just to, close enough to the ground so when this hover pad gets powered, uh, they are on hover mode, right? So uh, when it gets powered, it'll push away and actually pull a car this way. And you probably saw it, saw it when I was bringing it over to this side to... Uh, finish up the loading ramp and yeah so that actually works the reason why I have the arm here is just because connection I have to have a connection to this buggy to actually control the power well I guess I don't could probably do it without but I find if it's attached to the structure you it stays with the structure from my experience but yeah, and I just put this up here so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, that's the hover pad that pushes the ball out. And then it goes down here. These are all free and spinning. If I don't get stuck in there. I've dropped the ceiling tile down there and then they started spinning. And now for the wiring. Uh, the wiring is a bit of a mess. As you can see, thank God I can color code it. So the blue is for um, the pusher pad. The green is to go one way, the red is to go the other way, and then one of these white wires way down, right down there is for the resets, and you can see that the controls all go to that platform over there, if we can see it. You can see the, the neon lights going up. The only thing I'm a little worried about is if this elevator is going to work. As you can see, I've redesigned it a little bit. Uh, from what I've seen, the hover pads should be able to push up four blocks. So that'd be one, two, three, four. It should be able to get up to here. This will be able to push it over to here. This will go up to here. That'll push it to here. So it'll just sort of staircase up. This, my gapping might have been a little bit too big. Uh, at this point right now, if this elevator doesn't work, we're just going to grab the little orange flyer there that's meant for grabbing these balls, and we'll use that instead. And then, as you can see, I used uh, ceiling tile frames just as a cage, just to keep everything in place. Put some stops so the car doesn't go too far. So now, we just gotta get ourselves some generators. And we're gonna go with uh, these guys, of course. Do I have any? I do. Okay. We'll split stacks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just, instead of running power back and forth, I'm gonna put the gen uh, one generator here for the controls. And then the elevator will have its own power supply in the back. So let's go ahead and place this here. And hopefully I have resources on me for this. Come on. I have been getting a lot of lag on this too. I'm actually thinking, starting to think it's just my world. <laughs> like I got all this stuff here. And believe it or not. Where is it? I don't know if you can see it. Well, you can sort of see those white lines there, right at the bottom of the compass there. That's the roller coaster a kilometer away. So, yeah, it's still a little laggy. All right, let's go and get the other generator in. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the colors. Uh, originally, I wanted to go with... Um, let's actually put one of... I was going to put a ceiling tile on the side here just to... Something to uh, stop the ball from rolling. Um, oh yeah, I was going to have pressure plates so when the ball landed on there it would light up. And as you can see, because this ramp didn't work out the way I wanted to, I wasn't going to be able to do it. Originally the elevator was supposed to be on this side. Hang on. That'll be fine. 
an elevator is originally supposed to be on the side that this sh chute here was actually supposed to just go all the way down to the side and then go up the up the side but because the slope was too steep I had to bring them both down towards the center which meant that my elevator had to be in the back which means I could not be able to actually get any pressure plates in which is is okay because wiring at this point in this game is still some work come on there you go all right so now We'll get this other generator hooked up. I'm gonna stick you there. Oh, of course, I don't have any parts. Come on, can I reach the flare? Come on. Nope. Maybe if I'm on this side. Aha! And of course, I'm not connected to the one that's actually the parts that I need. Okay, I gotta go get those quantum electronic parts somewhere in here. They did increase the, uh, the range on the item dispensers, but it's not quite far enough. Uh, just grab those, get them out of here. Starting to rain. And I saw this. I don't know where I died. Like, I don't even see the marker on here anymore. I don't know how I died, when that happened, or what. Alright, so we'll connect you to you. Alright, now uh, what was it? I know as you actually do show you how to do everything here, which makes it easier. So, half a stack. Really? Okay, well, I'm gonna need another one then. Need more power. Okay, and then you get out of there. Need to grab half of you and put it over here. Aha! We have power. It's a lot of hover pads. Okay, now we go to the other side here. And sleep away the rain while I'm here. Quickly. Even though it's going to stop in a second. And rain go bye bye. No, oh, it's nighttime. Alright, well, we're going to have to sleep the night away. I actually worked for the last two nights just trying to get this finished because I've been dragging it on. Wow. Mm. This jumpiness in the stasis chamber gets worse and worse every time. Okay, so now we just got to get some fuel in here. And then we should be good to, good to go. Alright, you got fuel. So now, let's see how this works. Oop. I obviously have to put another uh, ceiling tile at the end. Or else I'm going to keep falling off this thing. Okay, there we go. I said there we go. So now, we turn that on. Is it not moving now? What's going on? It appears to be stuck. Or oh, it's just too heavy. That's what it was. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Before it gets out of control. Yeah, okay, so it's too heavy. That's nice. It's a good thing I didn't put a beacon on there, because that's what I was originally was going to do. Alright, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just turn that off. I go back up here, set it back to hover mode, and then we'll, we'll try to move it around a little bit and drop the ball. Okay. I know I could use a terminal to do that stuff, but with this many parts, like got 36 rotating plates here alone and I had to unlock all those manually oh, no. I missed I missed I missed all right let's uh, put that away let's see if we can actually do this in first person or a third person there it goes 
Now that I think about it, I probably could have put this a little higher. Let's do this in here. Show me the ball. Is it not enough? Oh, it got stuck, did it? Yes, it did. Huh. This is going a little lopsided. The ball is supposed to go down, not me. Alright, let's try this again. And there she goes. Screenshot. And then it lands in there. So now this should push it out. Now I'm wondering about that elevator. This is actually going to work. It is. Well, for the most part. And it goes up. And it got stuck there because I probably forgot to set one to, that to hover. Which is good because I was supposed to bring this carriage back. So let's go ahead and move it back and then... Huh. It got stuck. Of course it got stuck. When does anything ever go right for me? Actually, it happens quite, it's been happening quite a bit lately. Alright, let's uh, bring this thing back. Yeah, now it wants to be difficult. Well, despite the snags and hiccups, I'd say it was a pretty good success. I actually want to see if any of these are still locked. Well, so far, so good. I think it's just could be the wheels on this side too. Or maybe we just need to get rid of this. There you go. And then lands there. Now what is going on with this this ball here? Serious. There we go. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe this hover pad's got something to do with it. Hmm. Should be going up. Well, let's see if we can push it down. Come on. Yeah, I got my ball stuck. Okay, so I found the problem. Uh, this hover pad's actually upside down. 
So, I got the power turned off. I actually ended up editing the episode already, but I figure... Okay, get off of that, and... Okay, good. So now we go back to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Where does it go? Does it go there? Let's find out. I think it goes there. Yes, it does. Okay. So, that was uh, Z problem. Set that to ground it. And I gotta connect this to the power. Which is there. Okay, let's try this again. And boom. Okay, we got the carriage in place, so that's good. Ooh. Why is that still turned on? Actually, everything's still turned on. Let's go turn this off quickly. And I don't know how to fly. I'm all in space and EU at the same time, so we turn that off, and we'll turn that off. Alright, so now let's, uh, let's go turn the power back on, and, or turn the elevator back on, and see if the ball goes back up. Yeah, I I thought there was something wrong with the ball. It didn't even occur to me that the, the hover pad was upside down. And... And no more ball. Yeah, no more ball. Oh wow, it shot it right out. Hmm. I knew I should have put something at the end here. Alright, let me just try this again. Okay, I'll try this again. I put a couple extra blocks here, and I put a small wall here, so hopefully it doesn't shoot it right out. Uh, I won't be able to know what happens until I go back up there, so let's just go ahead and turn the power on and hope the ball's where it's supposed to be. And... Adieu. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What we have is a hover pad in the wrong spot. I'm actually just going to turn the power off here. And that's going to go back up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Yeah, I had a feeling that was in the wrong spot. Alright, let's try this again. Is that right? Yes. Good. Where's that ball? Okay, it's it's stuck there. That's fine. I can stay there. All right, now uh, should be it. So now we can actually see what happens. Almost. Almost. I think that should be good. It shouldn't really affect it too much, other than the fact that this ball likes to stick to everything. Alright, I'll give it one more one more shot and then uh, then we'll then we'll call it. I've been working on this for like two days. I don't know how many hours I put into this project already. Probably about as many hours as me trying to land on that platform. My space bar doesn't want to work. 
Okay, let's uh, let's bring it over to the right, left. Okay, we can see it. All right, and fire. That's not working. Jeez, I wonder if I have that hover pad backwards too. Would not surprise me. And it's not. It just just doesn't want to push. I think it needs to be a lower down, but I can't really get any further closer than that. That's pretty much my limit. Uh, originally, I was going to have like a little bucket that lifted up like a dump truck to push it out, but that didn't work out too well. Alright, now that'll be it. That'll be unexpected. <laughs> so now how do I get it? I gotta go in there and get it out myself. Uh, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna call it here. Anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.